Today, I will demonstrate 10 different braille writing slates. So a slate is a template for writing braille by hand. It's equivalent to using pen and paper. On the screen, I have two examples of pocket slates. One's made out of plastic, and the other one's made out of metal. So it's a very simple design. It has two pieces of plastic with a hinge on the left. And the front piece of plastic has a whole bunch of windows. Those are the braille cells. You would take a piece of paper, put it inside of the slate, and then you're going to close it firmly. And there are plastic pins in each of the corners on this particular slate to hold the paper in place. So the paper's not going to slide around. And then you take stylus, and then you're punching the dots on the back side of the paper. And you're writing the mirror image of the letters. And that's because we're writing on the back side of the page. So there I wrote hello. So another nice thing about these little dots in the corner is that you can easily line the paper back up in the slate and you can keep writing. So this is a very humbling way to learn to write, but once you get it, it's a lot of fun. Something else I really like about this slate is that there are four slots and that's what you can put label tape in there. You feed it in. And it's clear labels with the sticky on the back. So there's two different sides depending on how thick your label is, and labels come in different colors, black, clear, yellow, red. And then you just take your stylus, and make sure you're punching on the back side of the label. So in this case, it has the vendor's name on it. And just go ahead and write. And it takes some extra pressure to really get those dots to form. Wrote the word hi. So slates, when you're looking for them online, they're described by how many lines and how many cells they have. So in the case of this green plastic slate, it is nine lines long and 30 cells wide. And this is kind of based off of preference, so I recommend you buy several different ones and see what you like. And this metal pocket slate, it is four lines long by 38 cells. So I'm going to briefly show you how to use the metal slate. I'm going to slide the paper inside. This is an 11 and a half by 11 sheet of paper, so a standard braille size. I'm going to line it up. So that sound was the pins popping up through the paper so that the paper's not going to slide around. Then we're starting in the top right hand corner and we're writing the mirror image. And then let's say I filled out the next four lines and then I wanted to write on the fifth line. So what I do is open up the slate, lift up the paper, so what you do is line up the bottom hole with the top peg on the slate, and you're just going to inch it down. So you've got the paper locked in place, and now we can keep writing. So I personally find this a very tedious way to write braille, having moved the slate down every four lines. So stick around and I'm going to show you my favorite slate. So when I first got into braille, I discovered this book at the library and I've since bought a copy and it's called Braille for the Sighted and it is so much fun. There's crossword puzzles, there's word searches, and it is exactly what the title says. The braille in here is flat, it's printed, it's not raised. So this is an introductory for people who don't know anything about Braille. I just want to show you a couple things. It goes over the alphabet. And what's really cool is that there's practice of decoding. And there's fun games in here. Like there's a picture of an airplane. It says airplane is to air. And air is written in Braille. As boat, there's a picture of a boat, is to blank. And there are blank Braille cells and you get to fill in the answer. So even though this was written in 1998, which was back when America was using a different way of writing Braille, so everything in this book is still current except for this one section right here. It tells you how to capitalize three entire words. Walk with caution, that's all in caps. The old way of doing it, you would put two dot sixes before the word. A dot six is the bottom right hand dot. The current way of doing it for UEB, you would put three sixes and that turns on caps lock. So everything's in caps until you turn it off, and then you end it 
by entering a cell that is 6 followed by a dot 3. And this book also explains how to write numbers, which are the same as letters, except it's preceded by a backwards capital L. That's dots 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I love this book. I'll put the link below. I highly recommend you check it out. So the next slate I want to show you is the Janus slate. And what's so special about it, it is an interpoint. Well, basically. So interpoint means that there's braille on both sides of the page, and they're slightly offset. So technically this is not an inner point, it's actually double spaced, and the way I can tell that is that there's a lot of space in between each line of text. Whereas if this was an inner point, it would be a lot closer together. So this slate fits a 3x5 index card. Slide that into the slate. Write all the braille on one side, flip the slate over, and then write some more. On one side I wrote hi, and on the flip side I wrote Elizabeth. So a fun project to do with this is to cut up scrap pieces of paper, scrap of paper, it could be packaging from like pizza boxes, uh, art projects, just whatever you want. Put a whole bunch in the corner in a ring, and then you could keep a gratitude journal. So take out a page at a time, put it in your slate, and you can write the date, and then a couple things you're grateful for. So something to keep in mind, dashes and hyphens cancel numeric mode. So if you're writing for 25 2021, it would be numeric indicator for dash numeric indicator 25 dash numeric indicator 2021. If you forget to use a numeric indicator, all of those numbers are actually read as letters. So the clue for the next slate has to do with the plastic lid that I have on screen. It's a baby arugula plastic container lid. So what I love to do with these plastic lids is soak off the labels and then I use the plastic for braille labels. So this is a one-line slate specifically designed for writing labels. I could take this plastic uh, salad lid, put it in this slate, and then just start writing right to left. So this is a 25 cell slate. So you can take label tape if you don't want to make your own, and just put it in the slate. Make sure the label is in there backwards because you are writing on the back side of the label. And then just go ahead and start punching your labels. So this is a really good way to practice learning braille, is to label things in your house. Light switches, water bottles, whatever. So even if you're sighted, having braille everywhere, immersing yourself in it, is really good practice. So do you remember this metal pocket slate I was showing you, where you have to move it every four lines to move down the paper? So let me show you a full page slate which makes this so much enjoyable. This slate fits an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, but you can also get the ones that fit A4 size paper. And you can just pop the page in there, and then you can write your letter to your pen pal without having to move the slate down. And another reason I love this slate is because it's so versatile. So it's very easy to add braille to like thank you cards. If I'm remaking more than one thank you card, I like to line it up on the slate, and then put a border on two sides of the card with masking tape, so that I can just line the card up quickly, close it, and then just go ahead and punch the braille. You can also use the slate for adding braille to business cards, to playing cards, and I'll do the same thing. I'll put the masking tape on the slate so I don't have to keep lining up the braille. This is actually my very first slate. It's 13 years old and it's held up really well. The one thing I would say is if you're going to do the same thing over and over again, like 50 business cards, move this around the slate because it does start to wear out the dots. So there will be a link for this slate below. It is just a fantastic slate. And another thing I really like about it, it has this two different size slits for you to add the braille label tape. Moving on, we have another pocket slate, but this one's special because the plastic is translucent. So if you are sighted, this is handy for lining up your smaller pieces of paper inside of the slate. So here I have a thank you card. I'm going to open up the slate, put the paper in there backwards, remember we write on the back side, flipping the slate over, 
So I can look at the braille cell and see exactly where it's lining up with the print card. Flip it back over, take my stylus, and shut the braille. So I absolutely love this slate. I really wish it was 8.5 by 11, or if dreamers could dream, I want a slate that fits an 11.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Um, so if anyone wants to make one, I would love to buy it. The braille comes in two font sizes. We have the regular braille size, which we just call braille, and then we have jumbo braille, which is helpful if you're starting to lose sensitivity in your fingers. For this metal pocket slate, it also has the slots for adding the braille labels. So I already wrote on this piece of paper using the regular slate, and now I'm going to write the same exact word using the jumbo braille slate. It also has the pins in the corner to hold the paper in place. So there you have it on the top row in Braille it says Yosemite and below it in Jumbo Braille it says Yosemite. And the jumbo braille is about three cells longer because there's more space in between each cell. The dots are a little bigger and there's just a little more space in between the dots. Moving right along, we're now going to talk about the board slate. This looks very similar to the metal slate I was showing you earlier, except it has two large pegs on the back. And that is so that this can fit on this clipboard. And every time you want to move down four lines, you can slide it down the grooves on the clipboard and then stick it into the holes. I'm going to insert the paper. I have an 11 and a half by 11. There's a clip on the top of the clipboard with two holes to line it up. Open up the slate, slide the paper inside. I'm finding the holes in the clipboard so that the slate sits where it needs to. Take my stylus, punch out the braille, and when I'm ready to move down four more lines, I lift up the slate. Wait for it to sink into the next two holes, and just inch my way down the page. This is a very unique looking slate. What you do is you feed the paper into the slate, turn the knobs on the side, feed the paper through, and the top there are two slots. We have the stylus, and there's also a little cubby to hold the eraser. This stylus is hollow, and underneath the slate there are pins shooting up. So for this one, I'm going to write left to right. You have to line up perfectly in order to get that to show up. Let me show you a close-up of this slate. It has the alphabet on there, raised, which is nice, and then some basic punctuation on the end. So our friend also bought this slate, and for her, some of the little dots inside of the braille cells broke off, and then once that happened, she was no longer to use the entire cell. So that hasn't happened to me yet. Um, what I've found that I'm actually not crazy about the look of the braille. The stylus sometimes rips through the paper and because it's shoving this dome around the peg, it's actually making the braille pucker. So for me, it's, I don't really like the look of it. And something else, which I knew before I even got it, this fits an A4 size paper. And I live in the States and our standard size is 8.5 by 11. So it's just frustrating I have to cut down the paper. And then the other thing I don't like is that if you want to take a piece of paper that's smaller than A4, it's tricky to get started with a smaller piece, especially one-handed. But the paper starts going crooked almost immediately. And that's because you really need a page that's exactly A4 in order to keep the page going straight. And for me, I'm always adding braille to smaller pieces of paper like thank you cards. So for me, uh, this slate is not worth the 60 US dollars. If you see it for less, um, it could be worth it just to play with it, but for me, I do not like this at all. So we made it. This is slate number 10, and this one is super unique. I really like it. It is a paperless slate. It is made by Overflow, and all the links to the slates will be below. So it comes in a nice case, which is magnetic, and I can remove the slate. Now it looks very sleek like an Apple product. It's all white and it has a built-in holder for the stylus, which is magnetic, so it stays in place. So there are four lines and it is by 20 cells. And the way this works, you would write just like you would on the slate, right to left. I'm writing hi Beth. And I'm going to flip it over. 
and those little pegs inside of each of the dots have come through. And when I want to erase it, push the black buttons on the back, and that erases this section. So there we go. We have covered 10 different types of slates. I would love to know in the comments below, are any of these new to you? And do you have a particular favorite? So I recommend you try them all out. See what kind you like. And if you're new to Braille, check out the book Braille for the Sighted. It's a really good place to start. And in the links below, you can also download the Braille alphabet and all of the Braille signs. So there's two reference sheets for you. And check out my next video. It is going to be about 10 different types of stylus to use with your new slate.